Let's develop film with coffee. Hello, I'm Nural and I'm here with another photography related video, which is the cut and all film development technique. It's basically using coffee to develop your black and white film. So I'm going to be sipping my coffee as I explain this to you. So the cut and all technique or developing film with instant coffee is an alternative film development method. It is basically using household items to develop your films. And you can of course use regular chemicals and normally I would usually go for like an Ilford Ilfosol 3 or the Kodak D76. But nowadays I rarely shoot black and white films and I don't want to just buy a litter of chemicals just to have them go to waste. Just by using a little bit of it and letting the rest sit around the house. So uh, I had this roll of Rolay Retro 100 which is expired 2010 August so almost nine years ago and I wanted to shoot it for quite some time but as I said I just don't want to buy film chemicals just for one roll so I figured I can shoot this see the results and of course try out the cuff and all technique which should be fun how the cuff and all technique works is you mix instant coffee I got some here, it's a brand called Pirka, which is a Finnish brand. You mix this with vitamin C, so vitamin C, which I powdered into a little container here and I measured it out from this. So now I have some more for the next time. And the third ingredient, the main ingredient is washing soda. So washing soda is sodium carbonate and it is different from washing detergent the powdered form and it is also different from baking soda and I I'm not really used to that um, ingredient so I did a little bit of a search and I couldn't really figure out what it was in Finnish I think it's called soda but I couldn't find it in the supermarket what I found was the the powdered uh, washing detergent which is something different so after a little bit of search I figured out a method where I can turn baking soda into washing soda so what I have here is this is something called roca soda which is the baking soda in Finnish so I turned this into uh, washing soda powder which I'll explain in a little bit. So that's all you need, the washing soda, oops, the coffee, and the vitamin C, plus some water to develop your film, which is quite easy. So let's start by turning our baking soda into washing soda. And how it works is basically there is a similar formula. One is sodium carbonate and the other one is sodium bicarbonate. So you need to evaporate the water out of the baking soda to turn it into washing soda. So I put it in an oven safe dish and with some a paper lining underneath. And then I'm going to be baking it in 200 celsius or 400 fahrenheit for an hour and a half and during the baking process what happens is the water evaporates and it becomes a more grainy uh, sort of like a darker white color so now that i have my washing soda ready i can start developing the film i already have it in the tank and the rest what i'm gonna need is the coffee and the uh, washing soda that I prepared and I also grinded up some vitamin C into powder form to be used and I'm going to be mixing all of this with 500 milliliters of water which will be enough for one roll of film and I'm mixing it at 20 degrees celsius so I'm putting in uh, 4 teaspoons of coffee and then I'm going to be adding 1.6 teaspoons of vitamin C powder and also 5.5 teaspoons of washing soda. I'm mixing it all up to make sure everything dissolves and then I'm going to be using my develop app to keep track of the time. It's going to take a total of 27 and a half minutes. So how it works will be for the first 15 minutes, which is the coffee development time, I'm going to be agitating the first minute and then 10 seconds per every minute. 
and then I'm gonna rinse it for three minutes to get rid of this coffee developer and then I'm gonna be using the fixer which is the actual chemical for seven and a half minutes agitating five seconds every 30 seconds then I'm gonna rinse it for one minute under water and then another minute uh, with just a tiny little drop of liquid dishwashing soap and then it's all gonna be ready 27 and a half minutes passed and my development process is complete now I'm gonna be hanging up my film to let it dry for a few hours before I scan it and I'll be showing it shortly but from here you can already see that the images are quite uh, clean and there are no chemical residues so I'll be sharing the results shortly so my film is now ready and it's dry and I cut it up and put it in the, this little file here like I do with all my negatives and if I can show you one line from here it's basically a really crisp and nice result I don't know if the camera is focusing quite nicely but there are no chemical residues, no water stains or anything on this thing and it is a negative black and white film so you can actually see the images but not really see the actual colors so it's reversed and it's gonna turn positive once I scan them but I can already tell that the results are gonna be nice because the images look quite clear on the negative and it is a totally grayscale result so I would expect the copy to affect it a bit but it didn't which is nice and uh, to do a little recap what I did was mix 500 milliliters of 20 degrees Celsius water with 4 teaspoons of instant coffee 1.6 teaspoons of vitamin C and five and a half teaspoons of the washing soda that I created and with this I used these for 15 minutes mixing five seconds no mixing 10 seconds every one minute and I washed the negatives for three minutes under water and then I did the fixer which you need an actual fixer chemical for this and this was already mix that I um, a photo lab in Istanbul lent me some so I didn't have to buy litter just to use a little bit for this so I did seven and a half minutes this and with this I uh, agitated five seconds every 30 seconds and then I washed under running water for one minute and then another minute just adding one tiny drop of uh, liquid dish soap so that the images would turn out clear and now it's the time to see the results I'm using the inkjet scan utility uh, for my Canon uh, Mark II 9000 scanner that I always use and if you're curious about scanning you can also watch my scanning video but in the meantime just to go over it a little bit I'm scanning at 1200 dpi in uh, monochrome negative format and it's gonna probably take about half an hour to finish the entire row of scanning Well, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more, just subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell button so that you get a notification every time I upload a video. See you next time. Bye!